caliber here to compete against each other. We'll have to see what shakes out with these prize cards, though. Okay. Oh, double comp. Uh, that's we not what you want to see. Not what you want to see. And uh, on Gabriel's side, not too bad. Boss's order somewhere in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> kind of where you want it, honestly. It helps you clean up those last few prize cards, get the job done. Mirage Gate as an early prize card could be fantastic. Yeah. That's, I mean, it's almost like giving yourself a head start when you put Mirage Gate right there. I was you're going to hit it right yeah. when you need it. I mean, especially if you're able to, uh, yeah, just get some early knockouts there, secure those cards for the late game, you're kind of hanging out. But like you said, Kyle, those two Kumpay in the prize cards could be a little risky here for Thomas Jones, yep. depending on how <laughs> the, uh, the setup goes. I don't know. I, I guess I've seen uh, these decks pop off even with uh, things stacked against them, but you never know. It could go either way for these players. Let's talk about this matchup um, on paper a little bit as we get started. We've seen the fist bump. Our players are ready to dive into this matchup. We're seeing the Cramorant over here on the left side, as well as that Giratina V. So both these players have a little bit of a, a showcase of what they're going to be competing against in our Masters Round 4. Yeah, I feel like uh, Gabriel wanted to hide the fact that Giratina V was his deck. That is not your ideal starter. Yes. <laughs> it's very unfortunate to see this Pokemon early, but thankfully follows that up with the Nest Ball. Hopefully some switching effects, uh, maybe some of those jet energies that we typically see featured in this list as opposed to in the Lost Box engines could be beneficial as to maybe get some cards in the Lost Zone early on. Yeah, absolutely. We'll have to see uh, what happens. We're going to see a lot of Lost Zone for both of these players, hopefully, uh, to have a good game here. But that come phase coming out nice and early with that Nest Ball for Gabriel. So it's joining us. We're going to see some flowers selecting. Did you get a look at the hand at all, Kyle, for Gabriel? No, I did not. But Ooh. oh, hey, right on cue. Yeah, but that is not promising. Uh, we do see the four Seal Stone, which can be beneficial if you uh, want to look for that buddy buddy pop in early on in the game you of course surrender the fact that you won't have that v-star ability later on but yeah. you know what just give the man a buddy buddy why not yes we love those buddy buddy pop ins the super rod is going to be elected to go into the lost zone here as our first card and that buddy buddy pop in going to be activated straight away definitely taking uh, note of all the resources in the deck potential prize cards but those come fair being eyed up to the front nice and early here for Gabriel as well as that Mana Fee. Yeah, very important to establish the Mana Fee as early as possible. You don't want to be uh, caught slacking when Radiant Greninja comes to town because that can be dangerous. Yes, it is only two water energies on the other side, but if you run into those on turn two, maybe even turn one if they're playing a really uh, aggressive list, uh, you're in trouble. Yeah, you don't want to uh, ever doubt the capability of any of these Lost Box decks, that is for sure. Kumpe is going to go uh, back to the bench here. Uh, it's already been used for its flower selecting. We're going to see a second one here. Decision has to be made once again for Gabriel of what's going to go into the Lost Zone and what will be kept to the hands. Yeah, pretty promising opening hands that we see. Obviously, not the ideal setup, not the Colrus experiment in hand to basically guarantee turn two to seven in the Lost Zone. We're not seeing that just yet. But for a single wow, jet yeah. energy to fix a bad start of Giratina and lead to two uh, cards in the Lost Zone, sign me up. It ain't bad. Rescue Board joined in the Lost Zone. And now we're over to Thomas, who's going to start off with a Hisuian Heavy Ball. That means those prize cards are going to be shaken up a bit on Thomas's side. If there's a basic Pokemon, you can trade it with that Hisuian Heavy Ball. He take says, it out of there. There's two. <laughs> He's like, can, uh, can that be my opening hand? It's oh, my yeah, buddy, buddy, you. double Pumpe. I mean, th those prize cards are gas. Oh, uh, yes. Unfortunately, it's not in the hands. It's in the prizes. But hey, at least we get a nice little switcheroo here that has Hisuian Heavy Ball going into the prize cards. And we'll get some new ones to start here. Colrus's experiment. Thomas is going second, is eligible to play a supporter here. And that is the perfect one you want to see. Three of these cards are going to go into the hand, two into the Lost Zone. And immediately, you have your answer. Is this going to be the aggressive NEIC strategy of Lost Box? Yeah. Turn one Mirage Gates and cards flying left and right? No. This is Town Store, Rotom V. Slow it down, guarantee a nice, consistent setup. And it looks like the cards will line up just fine. We see that Forest Seal Stone is in the hand. So if you hold on to that Rotom, even though you're probably not going to gain the additional cards from it in this matchup, just the fact that it's going to guarantee that one free card with Forest Seal Stone, is, uh, it could be enough. 
Switch cart's gonna get this Comfey into the active. We're gonna see a flower selecting, stacking some more cards into the Lost Zone. Up to three now here for Thomas, which is really nice now that we uh, secured that other Comfey as well from the prize cards on Thomas' side. That's a Switch cart burned here, getting that Cramorant to the bench, and that Rotom V is gonna be coming down as well for us for some instant charging down the line. Yeah, not much else here, and it is gonna be the slow start, the instant charge with the double Comfe prized. <laughs> what else can you really do here? You, you grabbed one, but <laughs> you're, you're stuck now. Yeah, that is tough to see from Thomas. Gabriel's going to take all that knowledge from that turn. Huge stacked hands here for Gabriel as well to work with. Oh. And we're going to kick off this turn. Look at that. Uh, I, already, uh... I already have Giratina V-Star in hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't like seeing you guys grouped together. Yes, that's going to be the Giratina V over the V-Star going into the Lost Zone, taking us up to three now for this matchup. Jet Energy is going to bring the second Comfey into the active position now for that flower selecting. Let's see what our next one is going to bring us. It's a Nest Ball versus a Cole versus Experiment. That is what you want to see here. Lost Zone ticked up to four now, as you can see, and Cole versus Experiment is going to be activated straight away to gather up some more cards. And these are some valuable resources. You see yeah, this is huge. Any Pokemon you want in this deck, pretty much. <laughs> You've seen all your V-Stars. You're good now. They're all basics. Uh, you also have the Colrus Experiment or that Jet Energy as well. You saw, I believe, a Psychic Energy was uh, thrown in that mix, too. Plenty of resources to get going. For a Seal Stone in hand, if you want to make something happen. On the other side of the board, though, it really it, there's not much that you can... Uh, work in as far as like Radiant Core Ninja or anything like that. This also yeah. isn't a list that features the water energies. Actually switched over and is using uh, the psych uh, the the lightning energies. So uh, no no Radiant Core Ninja is going on. Yeah, some variation in attackers there, but like you said, no access to that Radiant Core Ninja. But Cramorant does have access to that Lost Provisions, and that's being eyed up here by Gabriel off this uh, Nest Ball coming up. So Lost Zone is at six. Now for Gabriel, and like I said, there is just an absolutely stacked hand. This is how these Lost Box decks work. They just stack up all these cards and use their re resources one after another to chain these uh, consistent turns. Yeah, if, you, if you told Gabriel that there was a situation where you'd have six in the Lost Zone and take the knockout on the lone Comfe and your opponent didn't attack last exactly. turn, you take that every single time. And your prize cards are looking pretty nice on the bottom as right. well. Can the we get Switch that Mirage Gate the Mirage one time? Gate. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it is looking pretty good here for Gabriel. So on paper, wh what do you usually see here for Gabriel? We see the evolution now into this Giratina V-Star. Of course, we saw the Giratina V was started. Now it's a V-Star. But what really is the strategy we're going to be seeing from Gabriel in these following turns, Kyle? I mean, we're in a different world now. The opportunity that you have is pretty great. The, the Cramorant taking that opening prize card. And from this point forward, you can either target down V or EX Pokemon for two prizes easily with the Giratina V-Star, or you can super ride that Cramorant back in, take another knockout on a Pokemon like your opponent's Cramorant, and get down to four prize cards remaining. At that point, that's exactly where Giratina V-Star wants to be against your opponent, who's just trying to fight back with a bunch of two prize Pokemon. Uh, yeah, it just feels like being so much on the back foot here, but I'm not gonna count out Thomas yet. We have Cramorant versus Cramorant battles here for both of our players. After that Comfey, single Comfey on the, on the well, was on the bench, then it was in the active, gone. now it's in the discard <laughs> pile. It is gone off the field, unfortunately for Thomas, but we're still getting cards into the Lost Zone thanks to that Cole versus Experiment, keeping up the consistency here. So we're up to five now in the Lost Zone for Thomas. You just want so much more for Thomas out of these turns. Yes, the Colrus Experiment's used, and Cramorant is uh, able to use those lost provisions, take that knockout on the opposing Cramorant, but you need to start to set up some threats. And we see Maridon thinking just that, tandem unit lining up the iron hands. And this could be a turn where your opponent doesn't have all the cards to get going. But honestly, we're, we're a Mirage Gate and a Prime Catcher away from bad news. Exactly. Well, yeah, that tandem unit so strong here for Thomas to at least bring out some Pokemon. It's just going to be that Iron Hands EX coming down onto the bench so far. Now taking a look at the hand here. So torn. We've got Giratina on one side and Pineapples on the other. <laughs> what do you choose, <laughs> what, Kyle? Who do I root for? <laughs> 
Oh, you got to root for the person matching you. You said that was you going into the, this matchup. Yeah, but I've lost these before. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that is true. Well, we see the bravery charm coming down onto that iron. Okay, here Next. we go. So lost vacuum action here. That bravery charm's gone now, as well as a discard into the awesome. lost zone. We're engage. Engage. We're at seven now here, unlocking that mirage gate for this lost box deck allows you to search out two different types of energy and accelerate it to your board. And that uh, Iron Hands is going to need quite a bit of energy oh, here to get charged man. up. Well, we're going to see just about every energy <laughs> left in the deck being featured here. Yeah, this I think there's, there's two energies remaining after this, but the full scent on Iron Hands is lined up. That's two prize cards. I, uh, I, you got to like that. Yeah, we're getting amped here, Kyle. We're getting amped. We're going to throw hands? <laughs> we're going to throw some hands here <laughs> coming up. Yeah, hey, I mean, when you when you use two Mirage Gate, get all of these energy onto this Iron Hands EX. You got to throw some hands. Yep. The, uh, of course, there's a, there's some Pokemon waiting in the wings. The Blood Moon Ursalunas of the world are like, all right, we've thrown away all our energies and all our resources. You just let me know when I'm ready to go, coach. I'll yeah. help you out. Tag me in. <laughs> <laughs> well, this Iron Hands EX is going to take this knockout here, as you can see, with that Ampy very much, that's going to be two prize cards, thanks to that incredible effect of that move. Gabriel Veloso, now one prize card taken so far in this matchup. Look at these huge hands for both of our players. Lots of resources to be dealt here for Gabriel. Starting off with that Comfey in the active position, this is going to be the flower selecting. Oh. Horus's experiment or that Radiant Grenade. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, an embarrassment of riches once more to find the Horus experiment, but you don't even need it at this point, is going to leave the opportunity available to find the boss's orders itself if you draw into that beforehand, perhaps with this Radiant Greninja here. Uh, you don't have to use the chorus. You yeah. can find the resources you want to continue to take big knockouts. But I'm worried about this <laughs> this Iron Hands right here. We at least got to clear that. Yeah, 230 HP on that Iron Hands EX facing off in the active position for Thomas. Gabriel Veloso using that concealed cards, discarding an energy card to draw two additional cards to the hand. Now we're going to jump in to some Mirage Gate action over here on the right side of the field. You can see the deck here now. That boss's orders was right on the bottom that may be used further in these turns, and some energy are being eyed up here, of course, accounting for the other energy that are already in the hand as well. So psychic energy, check. All right, yes. I, I can't mess this up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we've seen it before. There is a lot to keep track of with these Lost Box decks as far as it comes to energy, because you're running some slim lines here, but that Giratina V-Star now charged up with that lightning energy and a grass. And a million yes, dollar smile. smile, you already know. <laughs> that I didn't need much, <laughs> but I got what I needed. We got there, Kyle, and we are seeing this Giratina V-Star now coming into play. That psychic energy lined up, and uh, that's just about it. Of course, you still need to move this Pokemon at some yes, point, so true. I'm sure we'll see that soon enough, but it's oddly not in hand yet. So, uh, Iona! Oh, yeah, you're right. Help! We're yeah, <laughs> we do need some help here. Actually, that switch cart was not the prize card taken. It was the Mirage Gate. So that's right on the bottom of the prize cards. Iona, let's see what you can draw you us imagine? here. Five. <laughs> Don't do it to him. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. We just need a pivot here for Gabriel. Oh, the energy was already tapped, but there is Mirage Gate. I suppose you could use this resource to retreat. Oh, wow. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, you could. We Gabriel's <laughs> eyeing that up. I mean, you have to. Desperate times call for desperate. We measures. can't give up two more prize cards just yeah, hanging around. True. Yeah, that is 100% true, Kyle. I think you're right about that. Uh, to be even more careful, <laughs> Gabriel will use the super rod to go along with this. I know there's one energy in here. <laughs> yes, exactly. While well, we're seeing the second Mirage Gates now here for Gabriel, uh, bringing this energy out. That we have some way to get out of this uh, little pickle that we were in for a bit here. But now we see that manual attach, or sorry, Mirage Gate attachment uh, onto the Giratina V Star that will have to discard some energy as well as that Comfey to be able to get out of the active spot and into some pressure and some attacks. Yeah, why is here to see the additional lightning energy on the Giratina V Star? Those are the two energies likely to be thrown into the Lost Zone, yeah. never to be seen again. That grass energy could be thrown back in by way of Super Rod. So just really thinking about every single resource. So wise here. Exactly. Yeah, that is one uh, downside 
the Giratina V-Star can hit for a lot of damage. Take out that Iron Hands EX in one fail swoop, but does have to get those energy into Lasso, never to be retrieved again. But exactly as you said, Kyle, we already have the energy requirement as uh, far as the grass and the psychic there for Gabriel, so setting up the future turns. Thomas on the other side here, Cramorant's in the active position now, and still have uh, just that Maridon EX and that Rotom V on the bench here. And I believe we just dove into the deck with that tandem unit once again. Yep, there's not much left at this point. We've seen plenty of lightning Pokemon and uh, that, that ends up being the rest of the bench, oddly enough. <laughs> yeah, so I have to say, uh, we saw them, now they're gone, we're unfortunately. We're Ooh. still not seeing any way to deal 280. <laughs> yeah, that is uh, a bit of a tough spot there for Thomas, but that Blood Moon Ursa Luna is going to be drawn here off of that Pheasant Dippity. We did see a knockout, three additional cards going to the hands. Now we're seeing a Super Rod bringing these energy back into the deck. Essential resources here that Thomas is able to retrieve. Yeah, you start to consider how many turns this comeback will take and how many prize cards you can realistically get in that matter and I think you've come down to come to the right conclusion this probably involves your opponent drawing poorly <laughs> we need some help sometimes that's uh that's how things shape up here Kyle. we need some help that's a good way to put could, it <laughs> could you just not <laughs> I need some assistance yeah. please <laughs> uh, and then on the other side Gabriel's just smiling away having a good old time do I have another Colrus in there <laughs> I know I threw one away, but yeah. come on. We didn't need it then. <laughs> well, here we go. Both of our players drawing their cards here now. Let's see what we have to the hand for, for Thomas. Off that rock sand. Well, continuing to load up. See plenty of abilities used to get to this stage, but the answer's still unclear. Dealing 280 is going to be a difficult task, and it likely is going to be the Cramorant having to chip in, do a little bit of work, and help out in this stage. But this is a huge turn. I know Gabriel's sitting there with not much going on, but if that hand could potentially find a card like the boss's orders or some other help, a big knockout on a two-prize Pokemon here. Oh, my goodness. That's a Prime Catcher. <gasps> we have the Prime Catcher secured off the top deck? Uh-oh. Whoa. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, Cramorant put some damage out onto that Giratina V-Star. As we see, they're a little bit injured here. And that Blood, Mer Blood Moon Ursa Luna EX also getting manually Look charged that up from that turn. But Prime have... Catcher lined up. Switch card in hand to move the company. Oh company just God. needs to find you a little bit of help. Honestly, you've got it all there. You have the V-Star ability still used. I think we're, what, nine in the law zone at this point? Yeah. So this is the 10th. We get to engage once more and maybe hold on to a final resource to close out like a boss's orders. Oh my gosh, everything being drawn now here. That flower selecting, securing a boss's orders to the hand. Lot zone up to 10 now, just varying, verifying that on Gabriel's side. And we are there here as we see that lost zone being engaged on our stream. So, are you gonna get to draw all some additional cards? <laughs> Darn. <laughs> oh, Vesendipity strikes again. <laughs> yep. Does not really care how you get knocked out as long as you were. Exactly, yeah. And then it's able to potentially flip some scripts here in the future. But that Blood Moon Ursaluna not having a good day. It's going to go down here. Two more prize cards for Gabriel to take. And that's that much closer to taking this game between these players. So, Thomas re-promoting that Cramorant that has been putting in work here, but there has been not much else, unfortunately, in this <laughs> who's, game. Who's closing this game out, okay? Exactly. I'm worried. <laughs> I don't see, I see a lot of support. I see a lot of friends who want us to get across the finish line, but, but we can't really run right now. <laughs> Oh, nope, we can't run, but we're going to the town store here, Kyle. That's oh, there something. we go. We pick up we pick up a skateboard to help us out. <laughs> That'll help us in the we're, marathon. We're not running, we're skating. Woo! We are skating here, rescue board <laughs> being drawn out off that town store. Thomas just doing everything. This right bird now. knows all the tricks. <laughs> Absolutely. Skating, spitting. We're doing a lot here. Uh for Sealstone being played down onto that Rotom B now for Thomas. I'm looking, <laughs> I'm not yeah. seeing. And uh, maybe this is the answer. Bow pad, yeah. Roxanne, 
Hey, can can we just get, get that it out. card right back? <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, let me uh, let me just draw that right back out here. Thanks to that forest seal stone from Thomas's side on that Rotom B. It does have some utility there outside of the instant charge. Allows you to use that, turn into a V-Star power here for the game. And that pal pad is going to allow that rock stand to be shuffled back in, drawn back out here for Thomas. And that is the help we definitely need here. But uh, Gabriel is just down to one single prize card left to take in a lot. Uh, exact here. same situation we were in a turn prior. Yeah. It did not go well. No, it didn't. <laughs> there was a pink card, and that thing did work. <laughs> but it's not there anymore. Gabriel's still with two cards trying to get the job done. But if, they're, if the right cards are found, if we see a combination of Super Rock plus Nest Ball, whatever it may be, to find the Ursa Luna and work that into the mix, take a knockout here, then maybe there's a world where Thomas has an opportunity to fight back and yeah. regain some composure, but this hand doesn't do it. Ah, oh, yeah, Thomas just needed something here. Flip the script! This. We're going to see the flip the script three cards. Oh, no! <laughs> That's a lot of energy. Gosh, yeah, it's all in the hands. Look at that, the disappointment there for Thomas, I think, drawing into all this energy and that future booster capsule as well. So not many answers here on Thomas's side. And Gabriel is patiently awaiting to see what else is progressed through this turn or if he might secure this win. Uh, it's really starting to look that way from this point. The only real play for Thomas is to leave a single prize Pokemon in the active. Sure, you can attack, get a little more damage in, but it's pretty much irrelevant at this point. If you can't find the right pieces, uh, we're going to be moving to game two. Well, that Mariah on oh, the X. He said, hey, do you have an energy? You win. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. Gabriel had two cards there off the rock sand, <laughs> drawing one for the turn. <laughs> Look at that! It's, it's Mirage Gate Super Rock Chorus. <laughs> Well, the rock, rock, rock sand is the biggest lie to ever exist. Oh my goodness, Gabriel might be the luckiest player I have seen. All of these cards have been hitting in this <laughs> matchup into this uh, amazing winning smile here now coming up from Gabriel. You love to see it. Taking things down with Giratina V-Star. Earned, not given. <laughs> yeah. He has found his way to an, around, an, an opening game victory here in round four. Exactly. And, I mean, this, is, this can be very difficult, this matchup, but when it works out like this, when you're taking that opening prize card, Ooh, mama, sign me up. Uh, yes. Uh, well, let's take a look at how this game progressed for our players. Thomas is already at a tough start, uh, not having much comfy available. Gabriel knocking out that single one, and then it was just kind of working off the back foot. The Iron Hands EX did come in here to take two prize cards, but that was quickly and swiftly dealt with by Gabriel, knocking it out right away from that Giratina V-Star. And... That's pretty much how things chalked up from there. Yeah, once we saw the Prime Catcher knock out that Ursaluna, there's not much else to do. And yeah. I mean, every single time Roxanne was used, it led to the perfect cards for Gabriel on the, on the other side. Exactly. Gabriel had all the answers there. And I mean, like you said, it is earned, not given for sure, because you have to think these players are constructing these decks based around these strategies. Every single card slot in your 60 card deck matters for these players. And uh, looks like Gabriel definitely is having a good time here. I know this deck is actually uh, titled Tina W 2024. Okay, maybe a call out or maybe just more worlds. The W. <laughs> but it, it oh, could, way! It, it I could, didn't even think yeah. that I like that. <laughs> <laughs> he could just be saying it's for this tournament. World but championship. <laughs> yeah, just, we'll, well, just, we'll say it's for win. Look at, yeah, yeah, no, we're saying W all day here. Thomas, on the other hand, has the comment, no, this one. They're on, <laughs> on that deck name. <laughs> I love that. Well, we're kicking off our game two here in our Masters round four between our players. Plenty of time here on the clock. Let's take a look at the prize cards here for Thomas. All right, yeah, it's, well, they went away and pretty they're quickly. Gone. <laughs> <laughs> we got to see a little bit You're there, looking the, the Colrus experiment of the, the iron hands as well, and uh, we saw the iron bundle too, a card that can be really beneficial in a matchup like this, especially if you get multiple turns of iron hands, but uh, they're all priced. Yes, uh, that is unfortunate, the prize cards here, but hey, we're at least seeing a Kumpe here. We have the Nest Ball as well. The Forest Seal Stone is going to be used straight away wow. for Thomas on this very first turn. 
saying, nope, we're not doing this again. We're going to get things nice and consistent here in our opening turn on Thomas's side of the field with that buddy, buddy Poppin, allowing Thomas to search out these two basic Pokemon with 70 HP or less to start lining things up. That almost guarantees to your opponent that they have Colworks Experiment already in hand. So yes. use the Force Sealstone so liberally there. Throw down, see the, the multiple come face. Yes, if you have the way to switch these Pokemon around, see as many cards as you can, but <laughs> you like Colrus on turn two. <laughs> yeah, you do. You like Colrus really at any point in time, unless you uh, prefer a different supporter at that turn. But yeah, Colrus's experiment super strong card, and we're going to continue to stack these uh, wow. cards here in the Lost Zone. Two attackers here, the Sableye or that Blood Moon Ursaluna. That's a tough one, nope. Thomas. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not making this decision, Boo. I don't like this one bit. <laughs> it is really difficult to make that choice. Sableye is such a valuable Pokemon in this matchup, especially cleaning up some of those knockouts. But Blood Moon Nurse Luna, that's like your one way to fight back. Oh, that is tough to see here for Thomas, but the choice has been made. That Blood Moon Ursa Luna is going to the Lost Zone. We're not going to be seeing it here. It is gone at Town Store, drawing us out that, that rescue board for some nice pivoting action for Thomas. So we're at least off to a much better start as far as uh, the resources that are being used. Uh, as long as you just discount that, that Blood Moon Ursa Luna versus Sableye uh, flower selecting, that was pretty rough. But <laughs> let's see how this one fares for us. And that uh, we, ha we have a prized Iron Hands, no big deal. All yeah. of this will work out for us, I'm sure. <laughs> Down the line, we'll hope, <laughs> let's hope. Uh, Switch is going to be going into the Lost Zone uh, for, I believe that was the A-Spec. Could have been, and let's add three additional resources to the hand, likely not to be disturbed for a while. Instant Charge charging us up here, and now we're over to Gabriel's side. As you said, Kyle, Giratina B, maybe not what you want to start, but how do you feel about that start going into our game two here from Gabriel? just as bad. <laughs> of course, this is a deck that features plenty of ways to move the active Pokemon. We saw it wasn't a problem at all with the combination of the Jet Energy and the Buddy Buddy Poffin Ooh. lined up perfectly. At this point, we've seen a fair amount of those resources already in the deck, so it leads you to wonder what's in the hand. Yeah, I mean, those two Lightning Energy are in the prize cards there for Gabriel, as well as a Comfey, Colrus's Experiment, and that Iron Hands. Well, I guess the Iron Hands is in there anyway. <laughs> in the prize cards for Gabriel, looking through the deck here, verifying everything that is not of access because it is stuck in the prize cards. And we're going to see that Forest Seal Stone on this side being sought out from that town store. What a way to prize the Iron Hands as well, with I know, both right? of the what? Lightning Energies <laughs> to go with it. I, I don't I want know. any any of this. <laughs> yeah, we're not we're not using that today. Uh, Comfey, well, times two coming out onto the bench off that buddy buddy pop in. So very similar cards being played here for Gabriel this turn. Let's see if we have some switching effects here to get into some flower selecting. Oh yeah, there's a uh, there's a lot going on in this hand. Multiple jet energy, of course, the forest steel stone uh, that we see as well. The A spec to be used later on, but start with uh, some additional cards added to the hand. Yep. Uh, they're not going to help yet. Cards, concealed cards, drawing us into a couple of late game options, but let's see what flower selecting can draw here. Hopefully better than we saw from Thomas's side. It's a psychic energy, as well as that iron leaves quickly going to be drawn into the, uh, the lost zone here for Gabriel. Not much else going on here. Perhaps Colrus Experiments. Perhaps. Ooh, dice. Would be nice. I'm not seeing it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Might be uh, for a seal stone time. Yeah, that switch cart going into the lost stone, bringing us up to two. We do have the Forest Seal Stone that was drawn from the town store, so the option is there from Gabriel, but it's just going to be a pass now over to Thomas' side of the field. So let's see what happens. Thomas gearing up for some flower selecting of his own coming up, as well as that. Colrus's experiment that you already eyed down, Kyle, is being secured into the hand in the last turn, and we are going to be using it now. There is a nightmare scenario on this side of the board this turn that could potentially come up uh, for Gabriel, and that is if Thomas has the pink card. Prime Catcher lined up there. As long as we also see the lightning energy in the Mirage Gate, we could see Maridon EX as a potential attacker, oh gosh, knocking out right. the lone Giratina V. You are right. That would be enough damage here from Thomas. 
And uh, look at this, we're getting through a lot of resources here. Kyle, could we be flipping the script? <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll need to see some prize cards drawn at some point. <laughs> yes, true. <laughs> that is very true. Well, this Lost Zone is just stacking up here, being brought up to seven now. That's going to unlock our Mirage Gate. This is how these Lost Box decks work. So much is unlocked after you stack those cards. You sacrifice your cards never to be drawn again from the Lost Zone, but that unlocks so much potential of different attackers, uh, different ways to accelerate your energy and different responses to your opponent. And that's what Thomas is utilizing right now. Tandem unit going to go into the deck as well for uh, Thomas to take a look around, see what's going on. This is where I'd put my hands if I had one. <laughs> Unfortunately. <true>. Unfortunately. <laughs> it's hanging out there in the prize cards, but still plenty uh, to go around. You see the Radiant Greninja, which could help to draw out of some of these awkward situations at some yeah. point. But we have guaranteed at this point, <laughs> Maridon's probably the attacker of choice. Who else is going in at this stage? Uh, yeah, we got a full bench here, and uh, that's looking to be the only eligible buddy there for us. Another flower selecting first off, as long as Thomas is able to carry it through. And we got there here. It's like a difficult decision. Did you see the cards, Kyle? Yeah, it was the Lost Vacuum and the uh, the Town Store again. We already okay. have a Town Store established, and if you want to uh, reach a little further and get to 10 cards in the Lost Zone, certainly True. Lost Vacuum seems like the ideal choice. Yep, Town Store going into the Lost Zone here. Now we're going to see a Concealed Cards, two additional cards, the Colrus's Experiment, as well as a Nest Ball. Even better resources here for Thomas to have for down the line in these turns. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so giddy now. It's, oh, those were great. I'm playing Pokemon now, <laughs> baby. <laughs> well, uh, we'll see if Mirage Gate is there. It's the, there's, there's what, 15 cards in that hand? There's no way that's he's, not a Mirage he's Gate. He's shaking there's his no head. Way. There's no way. That's so many cards in hands. I mean, I guess we aren't seeing it played at this moment in time, but let's see what Thomas is thinking right now. Is it just not in the hands, or are we just eyeing up resources, checking out oh, what's going on? Oh, it's not there. <laughs> what? Roto with me. Just the instant charge here. Every single ability used on that turn from Thomas, but no Mirage Gate. It's just going to be three it. cards. I don't even it. see the lightning energy. <laughs> what? <laughs> There's the, neither piece there. What are we watching here, Kyle? It's just three cards, and now we're back over to Gabriel. That's going to end the turn here, resetting all uh, all of that side of our left side of the field. Gabriel hopping into the deck nice and quick off of this town store to look through as well. But I, I am shocked with that turn. There were so many cards in hand. Yeah, there's. I mean, I did not expect Gabriel to have this turn, let alone yeah. an opportunity to evolve into Giratina V-Star, start to build yeah. on this board, maybe find the Colrus Experiment without the Forest Seal Stone. This is easily a turn where you could use a Mirage Gate in this scenario, and who knows? Maybe you take out some big threats at this stage of the game and uh, flip the script. <laughs> flip the script, indeed. That's the uh, the saying of the weekend here, but we're going to need some help. Lost Zone's only at two so far. Concealed Cards is uh, going to draw some extra cards into the hand right now for Gabriel Forest Seal Stone coming down onto the field as well, and we do uh, have that Colrus's Experiment already in the hand, so that's going to help us out quite a bit here. Five cards we're going to be looking at. Three to the hand, two to the Lost Zone. Oh, well, Boss's Orders, Colrus's Experiment, and uh, perhaps the Giratina V, all solid choices. The temptation of the jet energy is always there, <laughs> and I don't blame you for, for going for that. A well, lot zone being ticked up to four now, thanks to that Colrus's experiment studying away for us in that scientific lab, Kyle. We're cooking. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, there's the Mirage Gate to continue the cook. Continue in the cook, and unfortunately, those poffins are going into the Lost Zone, but we don't need them right now. Yeah, anyway. we burnt them. We yeah, we, they're burnt. <laughs> <laughs> Lost Zone up to five here for Gabriel now, and I love watching Lost Box decks so much because they're just holding, like, a deck in their hand. And they still don't have what they want. <laughs> I <They're know>. not... <laughs> What do you want? <laughs> it's so funny. It's like asking to go to dinner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just tell me what you want. <laughs> well, Gabriel's still 
going through this turn here. It's going to be another burnt Buddy Buddy Poffin headed to the Lost Zone. But hey, that's what we need to see here. This Lost Zone stacking up here. We're at six now. Just one more needed. Nespal going to go back into the deck here for Gabriel. Gumpe, out. Gumpe, another help. Another basic Pokemon. Gumpe, help. We're, we're at six. Looks we're like so the resources close. are there for one final flower selecting to reach seven and have the Mirage Gate eligible. Prime Catcher was in the hand, still is. <laughs> now where'd it go, Kyle? <laughs> <laughs> it can't go anywhere. So which target do you face down at this point? Are you really worried about the Maridon? It certainly is one of the few Pokemon that presents a threat at this stage, but I mean, we've seen crazier things happen at this stage. Yep. Well, that uh, switch here into that Comfey uh, is going to allow us to get another flower selecting. And that Mirage Gate is going to be the chosen card into the Lost Zone. We're at seven here now. It's unlocking Mirage Gate, but the Giratina V-Star was the other choice there. It was the only missing piece, Flower too. selecting. What? It oh, wasn't, my gosh. There wasn't a, a Giratina V-Star in the hand. So. so Gabriel with the draws. <laughs> okay. Back at it again with the draws. Giratina V-Star coming down. Mirage Gate sacrificing the Lost Zone. But hopefully we have another way to get there. And we do. Mirage Gate being played here out of the hand from Gabriel. Already had one secured. And these energies required on this Giratina are being eyed up straight away. This is pretty solid. Everything you're looking for at this stage of the game. A very aggressive opening from a deck that didn't have a Colrus on the opening turn. I don't know how Incredible. you keep doing this, Gabriel, but shout out to you. That's what I'm saying. That sunshine you were talking about earlier in the <laughs> cast, Kyle, I think it's shining down on Gabriel in this ma Masters round four so far. And we still have the Forest Seal Stone as well for the Giratina V-Star. I was wondering if it was perhaps a, a jet energy, but no, you, <laughs> we'll, let's just play some defense at this stage. You have the Mana Fee. Probably it's Prime Catcher anyways to get that switch around and uh, lined up for two prize cards. Lined up indeed. Gabriel has definitely so far flipped the script. Thomas just couldn't get there despite that giant hand of cards. And Gabriel is now having a pivotal turn here that could change the rest of this matchup. It's kind of crazy to say because we haven't even seen a single prize card taken yet uh, from both of our players. And I feel like we've played so much of this matchup. But now we are changing that around here. Prime catcher, Maride on EX is being brought up into the active position here. Giratina V-Star fully loaded up. That jet energy throwing it into the active as well. And Gabriel is going to be sending those energy into the Lost Zone here to take this knockout on the ride on EX and take the first two prize cards in this match. Yep, really big turn there. Solidified uh, that once more, Gabriel is in an advantageous position. This Pokemon cannot be knocked out. You can see that Thomas needs so much to go right in this situation. There's just no bench to work with. They both were fighting to have the ugliest bench award, and they're winning. And, and, <laughs> and now from this point, Thomas is just like, well, I have one spot to make this happen. Hopefully, Colrus can help me uh, find a friend. Exactly. We'll see. Colrus's experiment. A ton of energy there being drawn from Thomas. Um, imagine a world where you don't see a Mirage Gate in a 15 card hand, and then you rip three <laughs> energy off of your Colrus. What are, what are we doing? Oh my goodness, the switch there, as well as one of those lightning energy being put into the Lost Zone. That's gonna stack us up to 10, and that is unlocking now our Sableye Lost Mine move here. It's gonna allow Thomas to be able to use it, put 12 damage counters out on the field, uh, as long as that psychic energy is attached, but it, which it was from hand from that Colorus's experiment. The math is mathing. This is a pretty solid spot for a Sableye to work its way into the mix. Clean things up. I don't want to take any knockouts, however, at this stage. Your opponent doesn't have any other Pokemon to really attack with other than the Giratina V-Star itself. Force your opponent to commit those resources. You've already seen two Mirage Gates at this point. It would obviously take one more or a lot of awkward switching to get to 10 and Lost Zone for a Star Requiem at this point. Make your opponent have to knock out this Sableye the ugly way. The ugly way. Uh, yeah, when you got to fight hard, I suppose, here. That Sableye is going to be moved into the active position, though, here for Thomas. Plenty of resources. Just remove any opportunities for your opponent to find help at this point. Uh, town store not going to be an option anymore. 
And yeah. Sableye has a, has a job to do. <laughs> you can take a knockout, you can open up and maybe uh, work something out, but I think you're supposed to leave this bench as locked as possible and force Giratina exactly. to have to fight its way out of this box. Exactly, the lost mine. Mining for some gems here. We're going to see all of that damage from the 12 damage counters being placed on to Gabriel's field. As we can see, oh, those Kumpei, they're injured. The Manaphy, it's almost down, Kyle. <laughs> Uh, I don't think they're going anywhere anytime soon. <laughs> this is such an awkward spot. Throw away this energy. Try to find some help. Lost Vacuum gets you closer. Yes. Actually, Lost Vacuum does it with the Colrus Experiment and the Lost Vacuum. That's 10 in the Lost Zone. It's a really, a really ugly Star Requiem. But I suppose you're there. But I, have we used the, uh, the Four Seal Stone this game is the question then. Uh, yeah, yeah, we lose, we used it last turn, I believe. Well, then, yeah. never mind. We need some more so, help. We, we need some more help. Well, Colrus's experiment is going to be played here. Some more options coming up to have to go into the Lost Zone. It finds you the boss's orders, the other resource that you'd like to have in the spot, uh, of course, along with the Mirage Gate. Yeah. But if you had both those cards and you took a knock on our Pokemon like that Rotom V here, whoo! We're in a different ballpark. Exactly. Well, that Lost Zone is up to 10 now, thanks to that Chorus's experiment here. Super Rod joining the Lost Zone as far as one of the resources, as well as another Chorus. All right. We're, uh, we're at our favorite part of the game. 13 cards in hand, none of them named Mirage. <laughs> oh, is that our favorite part, Kyle? <laughs> We've seen it a lot. We better get used to it. I don't know if that's my favorite part, but uh, <laughs> speak for yourself, I suppose. <laughs> Why are we watching this movie, then, if we don't like any of the parts? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, this has been a, it's been a bit of an awkward game for both of our players. Uh, but we're still churning through. Uh, just under 10 minutes left on the clock between our players here. Looks like we're uh, seeing some action happen at the table. Yeah, no, I mean, no cards being played. This is just flood the board, have fun. Yeah. No pressure on the Sableye. Likely already has the resources needed to get this Pokemon back or trusts the fact that the Comphase will be able to do that job. And, I mean, we could yes. be at Look a at point that. where you knock out four Pokemon, load up enough damage onto that Giratina V-Star to be uh, threatened by, what, a, Mir a Miraidon that could come back. Some Pokemon at this stage... And that is six prize cards in two turns. Yeah. Oh, that is tough to see. Here's so much damage being put down onto the field. Back-to-back -back turns there for Thomas. And now uh, we're seeing the town store back once again here on the field for Gabriel to utilize. Eight and a half minutes left in this game two. Gabriel up one to zero and looking to close out. But the cards are not falling his way at this point has the ability to take a knockout at this stage, but would require the boss's orders to take a relevant two prize knockout, yeah. and you're not dealing with the main threat. That Sableye is ferocious. Exactly, this is uh, wh why this deck shines. The Sableye is just a single prize card Pokemon, which forces Gabriel into a really awkward position to be able to close the game up after that, having four prize cards left to take. Uh, but as you said, there's so many awkward resources here but now Gabriel does have more in the hand to work with. Yeah, they're all there now. Double Super Odd, Mirage Gate, Jet Energy, plenty of energies to work with. Could load up to the point where the Giratina V, V-Star is no longer uh, threatened. You're likely gonna have two guaranteed attacks moving forward as 280 is way too much hit points yeah, for Thomas to deal with. So I, I think I like seeing a turn where you go upwards of five energies on this Pokemon. Woo! Yes, take the ugly knockout and then hopefully Fight your way out of this paper bag next turn. Yeah, let's see it. I'm excited, Kyle. Let's get into this here. Mirage Gate finally in the hands and able to be utilized from Gabriel uh, as well as that Jet Energy being attached for that Giratina V-Star. Yeah, I really want to see Gabriel think about the potential of a card like Roxanne at this stage. If you are taking this prize, make sure your board state can Ooh. do something relevant. Rotom V, a knockout, Sableye unchecked once more. Goodness. But this does open up the potential for Gabriel to find the Iron Hands. That's Could be true. thinking about that opportunity. That is a good point. If he's running into the Lightning Energy, but it's a huge risk. Only four prize cards remaining. Yeah. We know that it's not going to pay off. It's sitting at the tippy top. Yeah, unless there's a weird way Gabriel chooses to draw the prize cards. If the sun is shining on them, perhaps. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> exactly. Well... <laughs> 
the, the Mirage Gate being used here, as you said, Kyle, all of those energy being uh, invested into this Giratina V-Star. Of course, two of them have to go into the Lost Zone now off of that Lost Impact that we see to knock out that Rotom V. And uh, Thomas is saying, oh, I wish I could have taken that Giratina V-Star out when it was just a Giratina V. <laughs> Think about this turn. This could be unreal for Thomas. Not Let's only bringing back the Maridon that could potentially be the game-winning Pokemon in this match. You don't want to play it down just yet unless you are not worried about the boss's orders. You've seen one, you've seen the Prime Catcher, so perhaps he feels comfortable. But if this is Roxanne, wipe out these four bench Pokemon here, clean them up, and then put the rest of the damage here onto the uh, Giratina V-Star, you're lining up that six prizes in two turns ready to go. Exactly. Yeah, there's only a single prize card Pokemon left here on Thomas's side of the field at this moment in time. That's Super Rod being used as well from Thomas into a Lost Vacuum. We're going to need to see a discard here for the Lost Vacuum into the Lost Zone as well. No more resources. Stop looking at your deck. Stop finding cool things. You're not allowed to go to the store anymore. Yes, exactly. No more town You've store You've been shopping runs. all week, Gabriel. <laughs> Yeah, we're traveling now. There's no, there's no town store. There's no stadium. We're we're chilling with uh, too much shopping. The happening. safest of lines here from Thomas is playing down the Roxanne without searching out the Maridon. Feels comfortable finding that resource on the next turn, and certainly you have to think that those resources are there. We haven't seen the Mirage Gates played at all. If you find one of those in combination with the Lightning Energy, easy knockout on the active Pokemon and. You don't have a two-price Pokemon to give up here. Yeah, exactly. There's not one on the bench from Thomas, and that Roxanne's going to help out so much here as well. Well, didn't very much last game, but hopefully it does this time around for Thomas. Thomas got everything. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> we see we see it all. The Colrus experiment, the Maridon itself, and the uh, Mirage Gate to go along with it. Super Rod, if you're not, if you don't have the, the energies to go along with this. And here we go. A clean sweep for Pokemon into the discard pile. Oh, I'm Sayonara. ready. I'm ready to see this four Pokemon being taken out on one single turn here from Thomas Elliott Jones. Four prize cards taken, two prize cards left to take to take this game down. And Gabriel has a damaged Giratina V-Star in the active position here and still two prize cards left to take but there isn't a single two prize pokemon over there on thomas's side this is the riches to rag story yes <laughs> as, as all of the cards in that hand are gone roxanne did its job and there's a little bit of help there but not a supporter to go along with it i believe we saw the mirage gate in there there's a sable eye to pivot to but i mean you, you you would have to retreat this Pokemon. You're going to lose all those energies to get to this spot. Oh, there's a lot of decisions to be made with just say, three cards. This is uh, where things just get brain melty here. You're looking at the resources and you're just trying to figure things out. And he's just going to smile Kyle. through the pain. I know. <laughs> this is fine. I We're expect fine. nothing less. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow, this is not how I expected things to, to go here between our players. Three. Just under three minutes left to finish things out. Oh, you have to think about the time here. Two and a half minutes to go. Yeah, that is tough. Well, Sableye coming Sables out. Was the other card at the Maridon was benched. It was over. Oh, my goodness. I mean, I guess Thomas made a good call there. Yeah. Maridon being <laughs> left off the field. Single prize Pokemon being the choice there. It's paying off. Here, Gabriel's going to attach these energy from that Mirage Gate I don't, onto the field. I don't love this. It, it seems like the Cramorant would have done the same job without That's wasting true. an energy if Gabriel's not able to find that final energy after this retreat. You have to think that that's going to be due in part to this psychic energy right here. Yeah. Sure, you get some additional damage, you cash in, but there's no way your opponent doesn't try to win the game next turn or at least clear that Sableye. God, that is tough to see. We're going to see the boss's orders here, bringing up that Radiant Greninja into the active Thomas spot. is like, dude, was that seven cards or three? <laughs> you you I made know, all right? of those do so much work. <laughs> yeah, I, I honestly don't understand it there from Gabriel's side, having so much play with such limited card turns. But we're here once again, Gabriel choosing that Iron Hands. Hands EX off 
of the prize cards, but another Iron Hands EX on the opposite side of the field coming down onto the bench there for Thomas being charged up right now with this Mirage Gates. Double Mirage Gate, we have it, Kyle. It's all there, lined up to start throwing hands. And Sable Eye's go. going down. Sable Eye is going down indeed. Two prize cards taken off of that, thanks to that Iron Hands EX. Ampy very much. That is huge there for Thomas Elliott Jones taking a win here. There's only a couple minutes left. That means. We're at a 1-1 one, one record, Kyle. All right. Well, I don't know if you're <laughs> excited about game three, but game two certainly did uh, just enough for me there. Yes. What a game to see that Sableye strategy. This is something we have not seen in, it feels like, years at this I point. The know. bench locking Sableye shenanigans. Uh, <laughs> where, where's the scoop up nets? <laughs> what's what's awesome. happening? Yeah, exactly. I, I didn't expect this matchup to be as thrilling, but I am not disappointed whatsoever, Kyle. I love this here. And even just the players bringing these decks into the World Championships is pretty amazing to see. We have the replay now here between these players in this last matchup. Well, who do you want to give the award to? The Ugly Bench Award, we've spoken about it, and certainly both players are in the running, and it definitely did not pay off here for Gabriel. It looked like such a great start. We saw the Giratina V-Star on the second turn, doing a lot of work, taking big knockouts, using that Prime Catcher, but Oh goodness, <laughs> you can't let this happen. Four knockouts on one turn, and it lines up to destroy the Giratina V-Star on the other side. Yeah, there's only so many moments in the Pokemon TCG where we get to see those incredible turns, and I am very happy that we got to cast over it here, Kyle, in this matchup between these incredible players. Iron Hands EX taking the final prize cards there for Thomas. And that is bringing us to a 1-1 one, one record going into game three between these players. What do you think is going to happen from here? Well, we're going to see if one player gets one Pokemon to start things off. We are going straight into uh, the, the three turns of time uh, to get the ball rolling. Gotcha. It is, we already see a couple Pokemon, at least one on the bench for Gabriel. It's got to be a good feeling. <laughs> yeah, that is definitely a good <laughs> feeling there, Kyle. Just have something, something yep. here. I love how it's just like, okay, I will put a bench Pokemon down right now just to say we have it. But yeah, <laughs> well, game three. Let's see how long it lasts, Kyle. Um? Well, um? <laughs> oh! <laughs> what? I mean... Well, what? What, what, who what could, are we looking at? What could we, what? What could we do here? <laughs> uh, this... <laughs> I don't know if Gabriel could do anything, but that is the scenario we spoke of. At least this Pokemon has 210 hit points. Imagine if this was Manaphy Pass. We'd be, oh my we'd be squealing. There we yeah. go. All right. Oh, uh, yeah. That was just a very intriguing start there for both of our players. But we see the fist bump here. Both our players going to be taking a tie in this round. Man, that, that could have been cool. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been so heartbreaking. No one should win a game like that. No, but yes, no. both players here well earned one point to move forward. Uh, gonna join the tie bracket, but 301, a very great place to be in the world championship. I guess maybe uh, we didn't get what we asked for, Kyle. We wanted a nice clean game. We didn't really want a tie, but you know what? I'm not even disappointed in that tie because